Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. It's been a very long time and I've taken a very big break from YouTube. I have moved places, I've changed jobs, a lot has happened in life. Today, I thought I'll come back online to give you an update about uh, my Dominar 400 and the engine oil that I used in it. I had changed my engine oil at 28,500 kilometers to the total Hyperf 900 and it's been approximately 2,000 kilometers that I have driven the bike after that, which includes a trip from the city of Agra to the city of Jamshedpur, which I did soon after I changed the engine oil. I did the trip with my wife. I'll attach some montages. Enjoy. My last engine oil change was done at 28,500 and the bike has as of now run 30,771. So in the past 2,200 kilometers approximately that I have used the total, the major difference I have found compared to the motor that I've used in the past uh, five or six oil changes is not very much actually. I have used uh, the Bajaj original total semi-synthetic one which comes with the, uh, the bike originally. I have used Castrol. I have even used mineral oil. And to be honest, the difference is not extremely vast. The only place you will notice a difference is if you push the vehicle above 120, 130 kilometers an hour, which I feel that on Indian roads, is not at all safe. So the Motul is a really good engine oil. I have used the 7100 10W50 fully synthetic JAS or MA2 compliant. I have also used the 300V. I haven't used the V2 yet. I have used the 300V. It is uh, a different engine oil specifically in regards to the color. It's green, more suited to the Kawasaki's I believe. But in the Dominar, I had used the 300V with uh, a tube of uh, MOS2 and I feel that the difference is not worth the price you pay for the oil. The 300V2 goes for approximately 2200 rupees for 1.7 litres. You don't get 1.5 litre cans in that, you get 1 litre cans and you need to purchase two. And the rest will remain for top-ups and it does not reduce by that much. So along with that, if you add a can, a, a tube of MOS2, that's around 350 bucks more. So spending 25, 2600 rupees on engine oil, which will last you approximately 4,500 or 5,000 kilometers, I feel is not a very good deal. On the contrary, if you use mineral oil, which is barely 250, 300 rupees a liter, and the grade is the same, which is the most important part. I feel that you can do the same amount of performance for 500 bucks. The only thing is gonna last you for 2,000 kilometers instead of 5,000. I still feel it's a killer deal because you'll be spending less than a thousand for the whole duration. Now the main concern in the market in today's day is availability of genuine Motul engine oils. I have faced a problem with fake Motul engine oils being ordered online from Amazon as well as in the market. And trust me, if you use mineral oil, it's going to be better than a fake engine oil any day. It will not harm your engine, but a wrongly prepared engine oil will definitely damage your engine. I was lucky enough to realize it in the first 100 kilometers or so of use, and then I flushed the whole thing out and added Castrol, the fully synthetic power one, Ultimate, which is a good oil, but I used it as an interim to flush out the damage which is already done. I did not use an engine flush because my vehicle is decently old. So it may cause damage to any rubber parts that are in the engine. So as I was saying, 
getting original motul is the problem if you have an original motul engine oil go ahead there's absolutely no problem in using that engine oil it's great the performance is good the engine smoothness is good it doesn't heat up in traffic but the only catch here is you need to get an original motul engine oil there are quite a few videos available online and if you can google a bit you can find out the differences of how to spot a real engine oil from a fake one please do spread the awareness regarding this and keep aware about it so regards to the total that i have been using for the past 2200 kilometers so i've done city runs i've done extremely long runs i feel that it's a very good compromise it hits up comparatively a bit more than the motul in choco block traffic but compared to the castrol power one it does not heat up as much so in terms of heating i would say the mineral oils will heat up the most then after that i would say the castrol fully synthetic then is the total and then the motul 7100 and then the v2 the v or the v2 whichever you use if you go for liquid moly yes it is a better product but it is also costlier if you can afford it it's up to you but it's not needed yes the dominar is a decently powered bike 35 bhp is not less and yes i have the 2017 version so it is still 35 bhp unlike the latest edition which is 40 bhp so it's more than enough power but i do not think you need liquid moly level of engineering to pull out peak performance as you'll not be driving at 150 160 plus all the time for short runs once in a while you're good with any oil but i would say the total which costed me approximately 750 a bottle and i had to purchase two bottles so that makes it close to 1500 rupees i nearly get it changed myself my good friend mr yogesh changed it for me the last time as you must have already seen the video i'll link it in the description also the hype of 900 uh, you may find some videos of thailand of people using it in some really good performance bikes of the dominar over there also which is under the kawasaki brand but in india i feel mine was the first video with the hype of 900 and i find it to be really good for the price it's good as of now i could not find any copies of it on the market either offline or online so it's a safe bet and the performance has been really good now in terms of heating while you're riding since your feet set right here because you are using a high compression vehicle and it's a single so you need to live with the heat uh, most dominar guys around the globe will agree with me that it tends to heat up a fair bit not unmanageable not unbearable but it heats up in choco block traffic not that you will find it disturbing when you're wearing normal pants or denims riding pants you may not even feel the heat but it's nothing you cannot live so all in all that was the short uh, description and experience of the total hype of 900 you can get the oil you can change it uh, my experience has been great i do hope you guys share your experience in the comments and if you like the content consider subscribing to share the video to your loved ones and spread awareness about fake oils it is very important ride safe stay healthy Overcome.